Welcome to this quick introduction of Project NEO. NEO is a virtual reality system to visualize data for machine learning. I created NEO because I have a keen interest in machine learning and I am also involved in two virtual reality startups, giving me a lot of chances to work with the technology. After working with NEO, even in this very early state, I have to say I'm really excited about virtual reality and how it can help data scientists better understand and analyze data. The first data set we'll be looking at is from the Higgs Boson Machine Learning Challenge from about two years ago on the Kaggle Data Mining Competition website. I chose this data set because I dabbled with the competition back in the day, so I had ready data sets and algorithm results. A final caveat, and I can't stress this enough, is that this is early prototype stuff, so there's a lot of rough edges and a ton of things I want to add to this. So without further ado, let's go. Now what we're looking at is a couple of cubes representing different sets of features mapped in uh, 3D. Now, other than the fact that it's utterly cool to be able to look at the data in this way in VR, and it's definitely something awesome with a VR headset, um, is that you can quickly tell a couple of things about the underlying data. For example, things like linear relationships between these features are immediately apparent by these these uh, orientations. Also, if there's data that is zeroed out, these, this is the zero axis, uh, you can tell there's a bunch of items with zero mass. Now, if we want to get more in-depth, we can go into a six-dimensional representation in a hypercube that adds three more axes to what is being uh, displayed here. So we can spread out the data and, and get a bit, a bit more granular representation. So you can tell at these values uh, the uh, there's a lot more background uh, here and if you go on the other end there's a more signal in this section of this distribution of uh, parameter 3. Now another way to look at the same data is to see how an algorithm might have fared. So in this case, the, uh, the, the uh, data points that the algorithm correctly identified as background are in blue. In green are the true positives. And now the problem cases are in uh, orange here. Yellow, orange are the false positives. And th the ones that are in purple are also false, false positives but have a low weight to them. So really the ones that are hurting us are these orange uh, data points. Now we can go to the hypercube and try to get a little more information on where these are distributed. To increase the data point sizes here. And now we can see that the algorithm correctly got most of these right, but where the uh, the green points are, you can see where the uh, the, the false positives are laid out. Now, one of the most exciting aspects of all this is live analysis of the data and even tweaking of algorithms in real time. Like for example, it's at a very early stage, but I can create what I call an insight box and get information on certain areas of the data and even see how certain algorithms applied to that area of data could affect performance. Now again, this is very early, but a very promising approach of being able to interact with the data with your own hands, literally. The last thing I want to look at today is from the Numeri dataset. That dataset contains homomorphic or order-preserving symmetric encryption. And I think it really drives home how much information can be gathered just at a glance in the virtual reality. Now with the Numeri dataset, the order preserving encryption is immediately visible and that data is extremely chaotic and you can tell things are encrypted. However, the, this view enables us to also immediately spot a few things. Now if you can see these cross patterns tell us that the data is quantized at d discrete values, which is interesting information and somewhat how you would expect the encryption to work. But also there are, even with the chaos, some linear relationships we can immediately spot. And you could uh, kind of make these out using um, 
correlation analysis, but it's still very interesting to see uh, in 3D. Now, what you could do from here is visualize the data in this way uh, and compare, for example, clustering algorithms or dimension reduction techniques and see what those have uh, as an effect on this extremely uh, chaotic data. So that's Project NEO today. If you have any questions or want to talk about it, you can uh, reach me by email or I'll be lurking around the Kaggle forums. I think it might be interesting to explore certain data sets more in depth. So we could have uh, extra videos or maybe live streams. Just uh, tell me about it if that's something you'd be interested in. In the meantime, thanks for watching.